Hey guys, Kristen here. Sorry I've been MIA for a little bit, but I moved into a new house and this is my new house. You probably can't see much of it here, but that's my uh, kitchen and my living room back here. Um, so I'm doing this video today because I wanted to talk to you about how to balance nutrition and health over the holidays. So I can't tell you how many people I have met with over the years that they say, they don't eat all day to save their calories for Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner or the party that they have coming up or whatever the case is. So I wanna to talk to you about how to avoid all of that and really just to avoid gaining the five, 10, 15 pounds that you might gain over the holidays and really to keep your sanity and then avoid having to call me in a panic on January 1st. <laughs> so let's get right to it. Um, so first things first is I don't want you to starve yourself all day when it comes to a holiday or you have a holiday party. So you wanna treat that day just like any other day uh, you would want to eat the same. So you wake up, eat breakfast, eat a snack, if that's what you would do, eat lunch, that type of thing. And you would still kind of keep that routine of eating consistently throughout the day. Um, and maybe you want to eat a little bit smaller meals uh, because you know that you're going to have a larger meal later on. That's fine. Don't starve yourself because then when you get to that meal later on, you're going to be so hungry that you're going to wind up overeating. Then you'll feel sick, feel guilty. You get the idea. So Eat consistently throughout the day as you normally would. Number two is to make sure that you are staying active. So if you are a runner, sign up for a 5K or a 10K or whatever you wanna do. There's tons of turkey trots that you could do on Thanksgiving morning. Um, there's lots of other runs that you could do where you could just go out your front door and go for a run. Um, if you're a cyclist, you could do the same thing or go for a run, try something different. Um, whatever the case is, you know, if, if you're not into running or any of those things, maybe you want to just go for a walk or go for a hike or you wanna get in a workout that morning. Uh, so if you don't know what to do as far as a workout goes, you can hop onto YouTube. There's tons of um, quick workouts. And actually next week, I'm going to be posting a quick workout that you can do when you are traveling and over the holidays. So you can tune into that um, next Wednesday. Uh, the other thing that I want you to do is if you are going to maybe a Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner or a party, is actually try to bring something that would be a healthier option uh, so that you have something that you can kind of fall back on. If you know that there's going to be a bunch of food there that really is not the healthiest, um, you can bring an option with you that would be a little bit healthier that you could kind of fall back on so that you don't have anything um, or you feel like you don't have anything that you can really eat that would be healthy. Um, so when you walk into, you know, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, whatever it might be, what I want you to do is really look around, see what's available to you and pick out what is the most important to you. Um, you know, maybe it's stuffing, maybe it's having uh, mashed potatoes, or maybe it's that uh, pumpkin pie, whatever the case is. Um, you know, what is most important to you and make sure that you do have some of that. Um, eat a small amount of it, enjoy it, savor it. But then I also want you to still balance your plate. So make sure that you're having a protein, you're having some type of carbohydrate and some vegetables in there. So for example, have some turkey, have some stuffing and have some green beans. Um, or if you really don't care for stuffing, but you love mashed potatoes, great. Substitute the um, stuffing for the mashed potatoes. You get the idea. So make sure that you're having a balanced plate and still save some room for something that's really important to you or something that you might want to try. So I hope you um, incorporate all these tips this holiday season. And uh, if you can really just stay on track with you know keeping the balance of balancing your plate, exercise and eating throughout the day, I guarantee you, you will not be panicking come January 1st. Happy holidays, everybody.